says I'm live. We are going whether we're ready or not. Let me get this going on my channel on the other computer. Hit that thumbs up on your way in if you're watching on YouTube. Um, just scrub ahead until you see something happening. Hey, Dan. I kind of wondered this morning when I saw you at Dee Dee's if that wasn't Uncle Dan. But I thought, why would he reveal his true identity? That doesn't seem like an Uncle Dan thing to do. But I'm glad to see you here today, too. Um, and Dan, when you were talking about shopping for a new computer and there's just none in stock, I have had that same problem probably going on eight months. I know the one I want. I've looked at it. I've seen it. I've touched it, but they can't get them in stock. And this is going to go on for a long time, I'm afraid. Because of the backlog at the ports and... Yeah, I, I don't think this is a problem that's going away soon. Hi, Kathleen. But I need and want a new computer. And I'm not, I don't want to do the Chromebook because from, well, and, and maybe they've changed, I don't know. But um, the Chromebooks aren't good for streaming. Hi, Starla. So, yeah, that's that. All right. I'm all set up. I'm ready to go. Well, I thought I was. Come on, come on. Trying to get some little better quality here. <sighs> That's Dee's chat. Okay, there we go. All right. I think I'm good to go now. So, anyway, we'll wait for a few minutes and let people come streaming in here. Hi, Terry. <clears throat> so, this is the type of thing I'm going to do today, but I got some stuff to show first. So, you are lucky, Kathleen, because really it's been, and I've looked several places, um, but yeah, you're lucky to get it early on because we are yeah it's not going away hey cb hey sharon sharon i got a box and i acted like the adult that i am sometimes and i waited to open it Dee Dee's gonna be so proud of me because yeah normally i would have tore into that bad boy oh speak of the devil hi Dee, Dee. hi sherry hi barbara collage yeah and i'm um, like, I should be ashamed even attempting collage when Dee Dee's anywhere in the vicinity, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hey, Rachel. But mine isn't going to be a finished product like Dee Dee. You're going to end up with something like this if I do it. Yeah. Oh, I was going to get the gold paint too. Oh, well, I can do that later. So, yeah. Whatever, Dee Dee. You know, like, you can't fool us because we hang out at your house twice a week. So don't even try and fool us. And your mail didn't come again, Dee Dee. Well, the, the box did, but the, um, the letter didn't, so. But I did get a box from Sharon, so it wasn't a wasted trip to the mailbox. Good neighbor, Kathleen. All right, I must have bumped the camera because now I'm all crooked. Oh, I gotta move that other computer too. So I can see what you guys are seeing before you see it because the lag is, I don't know, I'm guessing right now the lag is probably about 10 seconds at least. Which is way better than it used to be on Ustream, so I'm not whining, just 
commenting. Hi, Dawn. All right. I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm impatient that way. Um, but before I start doing this, I'm going to open box from Sharon. I can't show you the front because it's got all our addresses on it. And um, Sharon wraps packages like Dee Dee. Like if you ever get a package from Dee Dee, it's almost like she's sitting there thinking, I'm going to wrap this in such a way that she's never going to get into it. Just saying. But I usually foil her plans because I own an Exacto. So give me a sec here. I'm cutting away. This is really pretty paper, though. It um, looks like wrapping paper with butterflies on it. It's really pretty. And just like the rest of you hoarders, my inclination is to, oh, save a piece of that so you can use it. And I might. Protected. <laughs> Hashtag protected. That's probably true. Will you at least know if the U.S. Postal Service got in and took stuff? And there's never any cash in there, so I'm always suspect. All right, got the package off. Now it's just a box. I'll pull my camera way out. So you're seeing this when I'm seeing it. I'm always really nervous doing that, that I'm going to cut something inside. Got a card. We'll read the card first because that's the polite thing to do. Special birthday wishes. For those of you that don't know, my birthday is the 14th, which is what, in about six days? Yeah. So, and I haven't gone overboard buying myself a bunch of stuff. Happy birthday. Aw, uh, you know what's funny, Sharon? She says, I understand you always wanted a pet sloth. So I needle felted one for you. Hope you have room for him and he keeps you company when you are arting. May all your dreams come true. Happy birthday, best wishes and blessings. Thank you, Sharon. He has lavender oil to keep the moths away. Well, did you put anything on to keep the algae away? Oh, we can use some of this. She included a little package of ephemera stuff. We'll put this on the box today. And I won't even have to put it away. But what's really funny, Sharon, um, last night I was um, watching reels on Instagram and there was one of a guy who um, stopped his car, thanks CB, um, and helped a sloth that was going across the road. He put a blanket around and picked him up and went and put him in a tree. And... Um, the sloth at the end of the reel, and these are real short reels. There may be a minute or less. But at the end of the reel, the sloth grabbed onto the tree, and then his other hand, he reached out, like, to thank the guy. So I was showing it to Robert, and I said, are you sure we can't have a sloth? Because <laughs> it was so cute. You could tell that the little sloth guy was, um, he was appreciative. So it was just like, no. We need one of those. But then, like I told Robert, we're not getting a dog. We're not getting a cat. We're not getting a sloth. We're not getting a hamster. We're getting nothing. Because now that I've adjusted to life without pets, I'm kind of liking it. You know, like you, you have the freedom to go just do whatever you want. Cool. We're using this stuff today, Sharon. Oh, look at those. Those are so cute. That's going in the beast. That can't. Yeah, that's going in the beast. These are perfect. E, thank you. And look at, there, I already saw there's that ruler. There's that ruler. There's that ruler. There's world maps. I love maps. The solar system should probably go to Didi, but it's not going to, so get over it. Oh, these are excellent. These are perfect for what I'm doing today. 
You read my mind, girl. There's a book spine. Yeah, they're all getting used today. Horse arrives on Wednesday, prepaid shipment day. <laughs> you know what? Those little mini horses and, oh my gosh. Have you guys seen the mini cows? Oh, I ask Robert all the time. The other day I said there was a, another reel. I spend way too much time watching those. I'll just admit it to you guys. But there was one of a little tiny baby cheetah. And I mean, I was yelling downstairs, Robert, Robert, can we have a baby cheetah? <laughs> He's like, you're insane. You should quit talking to me right now. Ah, oh, Sharon, I love that. Now comes the felted sloth. Robert's going to be so happy because I'll tell him we don't have to get a sloth now. I got one. And this one won't crap in the house, which is a good thing. Now, if Robert would just stop... <laughs> Oh, you guys. Would that be called a calf? Well, I don't know, Dee Dee, because they say um, they stay really small. Like, they're dwarf cattle. Sharon, that is so amazing. He is so going to live right here in my room with me all the time. Look at that. He's so good, Sharon. And he has a little heart necklace on. <sighs> Look at him. He loves golden map medium. How perfect is he, Sharon? This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. I can't say thank you enough. This is so me. Isn't that too cute? Yeah, you guys give Sharon a lot of kudos because this is perfect. Hey, Mary. He is awesome. I won't leave him on that bottle because he'll end up dirty. And even though sloths are kind of dirty creatures, mine won't be. Mine will be kept nice and clean. Algae-free. Kind of like my teeth. This is so awesome. Thank you. You fibs are the best. I don't care what CB says. You guys are the best. And I like the card, too. I like the dream catcher. I will definitely be cutting that out. Hi to anybody I miss coming in. And then you guys have been bearing with me on the Dee Dee box saga. Isn't it so perfect, Barbara? Um, I did get the package last, I think it was Friday. I'm not sure. But anyway, the package finally came and I chewed out the mailman when he came. And he said, I delivered it as soon as I got it. But I said, it doesn't keep me from hating the United States Postal Service. <laughs> It was three weeks late, you guys. Three weeks. Sloths will chase squirrels away. No, Rachel. Doesn't work that way. Squirrels build nests in sloths. I'm pretty sure because they move too slow. Well, and then to continue on with that story, I wasn't sure what country sloths lived in. So then I had to go on a Google search of all things sloth. So I know that sloths... Um, have a low me metabolic rate, they can travel about 40 yards a day, and they sleep up to 20 hours a day. So in my world, you could almost assume that I am a sloth, because I'm not sure I travel 40 yards in a day. Um, and I only wish I could sleep more than 8 hours in a day. So there you go. I could be a sloth in real life. Sloths do nothing. Yeah, you're right. All they have to do is climb in the trees. But anyway, I did get the box from Dee Dee. And she sent me two of the mini comp books because I went and looked for these and I ended up talking myself out of them, saying, you don't need any more of that. You don't need it. Um, but I'm really happy to have them. And if you're wondering what I'm going to do with these... Um, 
I've shown before, and I love these books by Linda Berry, where you use a comp book, and these are her lesson plans. She's an art teacher, um, but I want to do something like this, just crazy art where you don't, you don't expect perfection, and you're okay with what you do. That it's more of a d place to dump things than for perfection, right? Did I say hi, Dorothy? Hi, Kat. Um, so I want to turn one of these into one of these. And I'll, I'll probably be doing it in the evenings on art on the couch. But I think I'm going to follow Linda Berry's lesson plans on here. So we'll see. But she's, she's really good at... Just do it. Just don't think about it. Just do it. So, I don't know. We'll see. But I will show my progress as I go. I don't think I'll ever work on it on stream unless I think it's something that might inspire you guys. So, that's what's going on with that. She also sent Robert, and I haven't framed him yet, Dee Dee, but um, I'm going to. I just haven't gone down. I was going to do a bunch of stuff yesterday, but yesterday we um, did something different. But she sent Robert, she let Robert pick out these prints. So I'm going to frame these and they'll go down in his man cave because this old truck, this is Robert in a photo. He would see this truck and go, you know what, by the end of the week, I could have that looking new. I could have the engine rebuilt, I could have new glass, I could have a paint job, new wheels, I could have that truck running by the end of the week. And he would. <laughs> so, he doesn't know this yet. I have not shown him these. He picked them out thinking he was just picking them out for Dee Dee. But, yeah. So, Robert got something too. She sent me some of the wallpaper to redo a board for my desk, which I was going to do yesterday and didn't do. And then the other thing in here, and you guys, this is so, so cool. A journal, which I definitely need more of, right? We all need more journals, but this one is just, it's just perfect. Pre-printed, I'll just flip through it real quick so you guys can see. Some low graph paper. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but if any of you watch Lena, she has been doing a friendship gratitude journal. Um... And I thought this would be ideal for that. But I have to test the paper to see how watercolor works on it, to see if markers bleed or whatever. That's cool. Get up there and get it done, Mary. So, yeah, and it's got the, um, like, tone tan paper in it. There's space for writing. There's space for arting. And then you've got these. One of these pages I definitely am going to recreate this um, flower bundle in a watercolor over here. I'm definitely doing that. I know that. But it's just got such cool stuff in it. So, Dee Dee, thank you. It was just a gift because, just because. But I appreciate it. It's fun to get fun stuff from your friends. And then it does repeat. So, um, you guys have pretty much seen yeah, see, I already wrote myself a note to duplicate those flowers here. So, that's what's going to happen. Hi, Joan. But just the old ephemera. These, I probably will replicate these in watercolor. Just don't know yet. The thing about these kind of journals is I like to art in them, but you can't glue a lot of stuff because of the spine. So, I'll have to be just a little bit careful. But, yeah, it's a very cool thing, and I love having it. And the other thing I've been doing, I, I kind of was lost after Inktober ended, you guys. Hi, B. Um, and Barbara Clark, I don't think I said hi to you. Um, and I had seen on Lena's channel, again, where she was using some of the stickers out of these sticker books. And Dee Dee had showed these this morning. And I have all of them except the newest one that she showed, the bee and bird one this morning, which is in my Amazon cart. Happy birthday, me! 
Um, so what I've been doing is taking a sticker out of these books and every day in about 30 minutes or less, that's kind of the time frame I've been giving myself. Um, and these are notes for the comp book, so you can't look in there. That's secret. So I decided I would take the stickers out of the, the sticker books and just recreate it in my beast. So I'm still making myself draw every day. And the first was this shoe. So I replicated the shoe and this bunny. And I'm not... I'm grading myself. Um, but I'm not worrying about the end result. I'm just trying to do it quick, get it done, and see how close I come. I need to fix his eye. I can already look at that. But... So these are the ones. This one is my favorite so far. I think this guy is the best. Look at him. And I never would have used that sticker otherwise. Um, so, yeah. But now he's just like my friend. And I'm really glad he's going to live in my beast forever. Like, I can see myself having actual conversations with this guy. Like, entire conversations. And then I was telling Dee Dee I was doing this, and then she picked out this little girl for me to draw. And that was how I replicated it. Um, and the thing I would say about that is I did really good on her dress and her legs and her shoes, but her head's too big. And I forgot to color in the leaves. But, I mean, I'm doing these... Um, it almost is an axolotl, right? Um... I'm not giving myself much time to get these done. And I think, I'm going to pat myself on the back, I think I did really, really good on this turtle. Like, really good. For a quick drawing and um, just getting her done. And then I started this one for yesterday, but then yesterday kind of went to pop because we ended up going down to um, Stroud, Oklahoma, and I'll tell, um, I'll tell this story I told Dee Dee. Um, Robert's son is, is having a decision that's, that's really difficult for him. And so he's been really stressed, and him and his dad have been talking a lot. And so I guess it was Thursday night or Friday night last week, he was, he was struggling. And I, we could tell he was struggling with this decision he has to make um, because it's going to impact his life long term not short term long term so <clears throat> Eddie owns an airplane and he keeps it in a um, hangar in Stroud Oklahoma and if he depending on his decision he feels like he may have to sell his airplane to eliminate the the cost of keeping it and blah 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 so he called his dad in his stressed out mood that he was in and he said would you guys come down and go flying with me um he wanted to do it saturday we couldn't do it saturday so we went yesterday and um and he told his dad he said it's kind of like a bucket list thing I, it's just something i want to do while we still have the opportunity so yesterday we went down to stroud and spent all day so that robert and um Tipsure. Oh, all right. Robert has his headphones on. He doesn't realize that sometimes he screams at me. But anyway, um, <laughs> so anyway, Robert and Eddie got to go flying yesterday. So that was a really good thing. It, it helped Eddie's disposition. It was just a good, good day to go down. It was beautiful here in Oklahoma. Just beautiful. Um, See, Rachel, those are the there are decisions in life that are so hard. And diagnosed with Parkinson's, his decision was probably easy. Eddie's going back and forth, and, and I, my heart is broken for him because he's, it's a decision he shouldn't have to be making. That's just the truth. So anyway, that's what we did yesterday. It was really fun. And I'm glad for, for Eddie and Robert that they got to do that together because it's something, you know, we went shopping for the plane when he bought it and um, Robert loves airplanes and flying. So I'm glad for both of them 
you know, because it, who knows, it may never happen again. Robert will not buy another airplane. Um, and if Eddie has to sell his, they just may never get the chance again. So, yep, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do in life. So, all you hoarders out there are going to, um, yeah, me too, Dee Dee. Me too, Dee Dee. And, and honestly, if you're a praying person, say a prayer for Eddie that he, whatever decision he makes is the best one for him. That's all I want. I just want... And it's not anything that all of us haven't at some point had to do in our life. Make a decision that's life-changing. So, and it's not like he's a young man. He um, He's a mature man, and he's always made good life decisions. I just hate that he has to be in this position now, you know. But any of us who have kids have been there, you know. You hate to see your kids having to make those tough decisions and then living with the... Um, the outcome, you know, just one of those things. What are you going to do? Okay, so I'm going to, I think it was last week or the week before, don't remember. Um, I showed you guys, I had ordered and got these Pagos watercolor paint set. And it came with a bunch of stuff. The wa uh, pad of paper, the implements, all this stuff, right? Well, the box itself is really, really nice. And Lena said the same thing. She said, you know, it's just too good a box to throw away. And I felt like the same thing. Like, this is a way cool box. It's got a magnetic enclo or closure. And I got to be careful because I did go ahead and paint the inside and it's still kind of damp. Um, so today I'm going to alter this box so that I can hoard it some more. It probably belongs in the trash but yeah you're too good to throw away thanks Terry Rachel I appreciate you guys a lot so I did the inside already and I'm using um, well now I've lost it how could you lose paint oh I already put it over here I'm using the um, Master's Touch acrylic, and it acts very much like um, heavy body paint, so it does have that gloss on it, but I'll take that off with um, matte medium. I'll just paint over it with matte medium. The, the inside, I'm thinking I'm going to leave um, black, but we'll see. So, yeah. So that's just to keep the paint from sticking itself while I work on the outside of the box and I'm going to pull the camera out so you guys can see so here we go I'm going to paint the outside and then well, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys all the stuff I pulled out I'm going to collage with ephemera I'm going to use stamps hopefully I'll get to use my new stamps that I haven't used yet I'm going to use the stuff that Sharon sent obviously and then I went through, I have a box of ephemera that freaks me out because there's no way you can really organize it. It's just junk in, ugh, in a box. But I'm going to use some of this stuff. And I thought I would use vintage butterflies, rulers, any of this stuff, but kind of keep it tan and black and then some incidental color here and there. So this is all the stuff I got out. A lot of it I received from you guys. Um, a lot of it I've just collected up or bought. Um, I, through the years, bought all this Tim Holtz junk that I've never really used, but I want to own it. What is that about? So I'm going to use some of this, just whatever moves me as I go through. I do like that. I like the red. So, so yeah, that's the stuff we're going to be going through. And I have far too much of this, so it's time to use it. And this is a good thing to use it on. Right? And I'm going to try and remember to use some of this wax with stencils. 
and yeah, and, and then I've got, of course, washi tape and just everything, right? <laughs> then you can use the word stuff and put the leftovers in that box. Dee Dee, are you just trying to freak me out early or what? All right, and then here's some more. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. This is absolutely ridiculous. Somebody should shoot me right now. And I feel bad because I order this stuff and then, like, it's been in this package. I love it, but I I haven't used it. Why not? Here's some more washi. Um, so, yeah, we're going to use some of this stuff. So whenever you guys show stuff on stream, I'm like, oh, I want that. Well, I have it. I just don't use it. So we're going to try and pick out the best of the best and use this junk up. How many of you have this stuff, right? So we have plenty of stuff to choose from. What's Rachel saying? Dee Dee, I have tears in my eyes. You must be so proud of Jen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rachel. All right. I've got to put the sloth away because when I'm slinging paint, Mr. Sloth needs to find some place. I think he's actually going to live in my paint bu paintbrush bucket over here. He'll just keep my paintbrushes company. Oh, I know, Dee Dee. I won't use a fraction. See, CB's in the same boat. No, I won't use all of it. But if I get to use some of it, I'll be proud of myself and I'll quit beating myself up for buying stuff that I don't use. Because then I, in three years from now, I'll look back and say, yeah, remember that time you used it once in November of 2021? Calm down, girl. <laughs> and the thing is, they always put something way cool in e at least each of the packages. Um, so you almost like have to flip and buy it. That's the problem. All right. I'm not a huge fan of this paint. So that's why I'm using it on this. It acts like heavy body. It leaves brush marks. But I'm hoping the matte medium will smooth some of that out. We'll see. And if I don't like it, I'll cover it and start over. I don't care. Or I'll throw it away because that's probably what should have happened to begin with. So the background's going to be all black. And I know I probably could go get a foam brush and maybe eliminate some of these brush marks, but I'm not going to worry about it because I don't know how much of this black you're going to end up seeing anywhere. Right? I think I did all the edges already. And I'm only going to do one coat on the outside because I am going to glue so much junk on it. The inside, I suspect I'm going to have to do um, two coats. But this outside, I'm thinking one coat will be good enough. <clears throat> and I'll start with just um, the top and see how much time we've got. Oh man, this bottle always pukes out way more paint than I need. And it can't be an operator error, so don't go there. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do the sides because I got too much paint.
And Tina sent Dee Dee and I a, a video of these little Christmas hat garland things. Um, if I can find the yarn and stuff around here next week, I'm going to show you guys those. So, Dee Dee, if you thought you were going to do it, tell me and I won't do it. Um, but they are cute little bad boys, so... I don't even know if you've watched the video. She sent it on um, Facebook. I'll at least keep it somewhat even, right? Oh, I had a lot on that edge. Woo, baby! You won't do it? Okay. It's They're cute as they can be, and um, they're really, really simple. And some of you that are more crafty and have yarn and... Um, Dee Dee, you should do it because you have all those toilet paper rolls. I'm going to have to dig mine out of the trash. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm pretty sure there's at least one in there. All right. Let me just clean off the brush on this edge over here. Get rid of the excess paint. Amy would be having a fit that I'm covering up this purple on the box, but where did water come from? Hmm. All right. It was somebody on YouTube who was, um, it wasn't her original idea, but she asked permission to show it, and I probably should do the same. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cute, so yeah, we'll clean up that mess there. The bottom I don't care about. Okay. Look at me. I'm already painting. Thanks, Dee Dee. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm going to find my heat gun. <laughs> Don't worry about it being shiny. It won't stay that way. Okay, heat gun. Does anybody else want to, like, touch it to make sure it's dry when you know it's not? Thanks, Rachel. Here's some knucklehead. Look at all that paint. I was wondering where it came from on my table. It wasn't there a minute ago. All right, I'm going to set this aside and pick out some of this stuff. It can air dry for a minute or two while I do this. Because I know one of the things that I want to put on there. And whoever sent this, I apologize, but I'm going to tear it up. A Moses miracle. There we go. Oh, my God. I got paint all over me. This is why I don't do stuff like this, you guys. I know. It's washable. It's like printer's ink. You get a spot anywhere, 
it just goes on and on and on. And I'm going to use some bigger pieces. It's not going to be small pieces because I got a lot of surface area here, right? Okay, we know we're using that. Giddy would not keep this in packaging. I know I want this piece of postage. And the glossy doesn't bother me because I'm going to matte medium it. So we're going to use that for sure. I like that butterfly. You know what? Let's just use this whole thing up. Let's just use the whole thing up. What the hell? That's what we're all about, right? We definitely want money on it, so we'll use something from that. This I wasn't sure about. Let's look at a few of the Tim Holtz stuff. Now this stuff, and I agree with Didi, um, it's a little thick, and your collage material will stick down better if it's thinner. So this is a sticker. I don't think I can peel it apart, Didi. We're going to try anyway. Because a lot of Tim Holtz stuff is, um, yep, it's going to work. It's kind of thick. So, that worked good. We definitely want a piece of the ruler, even though we have other rulers. Because rulers are a vital part of a perfect life in my world. These actually tear apart pretty easily, too. Hey, Judy. Oops. And stuff goes flying. I can come back and get these if I decide I want them. Let's see what license plates they have so I can decide if I want Nevada... New York, Nebraska, New Jersey, North Dakota. See if there's either Colorado or Oklahoma. Florida. Right now, I would not mind moving to Florida. Okay, there's Colorado. I was born and raised in Colorado. I never thought I would leave it, but here I am. I'm an Okie now, and... I never thought I would be, but I'm okay with it. And I, Oklahoma is okay. Look at that. There's both. So we're using both of those. Um, what I'm going to use the box for, I think, after it's um, all said and done, I can either use it for cool ephemera which I already have a box for that. But I think I'm going to use it for my finished art. Because my finished art ends up everywhere. I never know where it is. So I'm going to try and corral it. How about that? Alright, let's pick out a good number. What's a good number? Mm, a good number is... I'm thinking about color here. Well, I can come back and get that when I decide what colors I want. In the alphabet, I don't care. Okay. So we went through that one. These actually were some of my very favorite 
Tim Holtz ephemera junk. See, and now I don't want to use it. Oh, these stickers are good. We can pick those out later. I think these are all pretty subdued colors. Maybe not. I like that red. I am going to try and stick with somewhat of a... I, I don't want, you know, massive amounts of bright colors on this because it's mostly going to be vintage, tan, older stuff. I actually have a bunch of these old cards of um, dry goods stuff because my grandfather had a dry goods store and my grandmother had hoarded some of that stuff. Now I've got the rulers from Sharon, but I'm going to pick out another one too. I like this plain one. You can't ever have too much rulers. Y'all know that. Come on, don't be hard to get along with because you're my friend. The long one I'm going to put right at the front so I can measure stuff. If I want to. And come back. I've got lots of butterflies all over the place. All right. And then these we'll look at later. To add some color. They've got a lot more color on them. Okay. And then I did get... Oops. Sorry, dude. These are just some tiles that I made out of um, artwork that I've used in the past. I think they're all going to be too bright to actually use. So, yeah. These I'll use on another project. I do love them and I want to use them, but this isn't the project. And then I did get out some circles and old newspaper and stuff like that. So if we need color, we've got that to choose from. I'm going to get some of this coffee dyed paper because I know I wanted some of it because I'm going to actually stamp on top of it. And I wouldn't mind some matte paper. I didn't get it out specifically, but... And some of it I want to repeat, you know, so it doesn't just look like odd stuff sticking out here and there. Now this is unnerving stuff to me. I mean, I like having it, and now that I'm using it, I'm going to be okay with it. But stuff like this, ugh. Okay, there's three of the map pages. We'll use that. For color, you just now received the notification. Don't even get me started on freaking YouTube. Don't even get me started. Okay, and then I got washi tapes for this. So let's take a look at the box and we'll just start slapping stuff down and add as we need. How about that? You like that? That paint stinks too. Just saying. All right, it's a little tacky. I'm going to hit it with a heat gun again. Um, but, yeah. Heat gun. And I don't fully expect that I'm going to get this done today. Um, means I have to start over. I don't think so, Judy. Um, 
Yeah, I don't expect to get this done, but we'll get as far as we can. How about that? Craft paint would have definitely dried better, but I had more of this, so. That light over there is definitely glaring it up. And the box itself, I can tell by the way it's constructed that it's printed paper that they've glued to the box itself. So I don't want to get too much wet stuff like piled on top because I don't want to create bubbles in the um, paper that's glued to the box, right? Rachel, I don't care about that because... Um, I'm going to cover it. Normally, that would make me nervous. You know what? Just for futures. Um, I'm going to have to go over the edge. I want some of the elements to go over the edge of the box at the front and the back. So I am going to have to um, paint this box back a little bit. Because I don't want to have to paint around it, right? Rachel's being bad, isn't she? If somebody wants to escort her to the corner and get her a drink, that would work just fine. All right, hopefully I won't puke out. Maybe I can just use what's on the bottle to go down far enough. Because I do want some of the elements to fold over the edge. I don't have to do the whole thing, but. See, that's what I like about me. All this planning ahead and stuff that I do. All right. That'll work. That will work. I think it's dry enough that I can work on it. I'm, I'm afraid, though, yeah, I'm going to have to dry it. Because if I get the matte medium on it and the paint starts moving because it's not dry, that's going to hack me off. So one more time. Let's go with it and see how the first few pieces work. And if it doesn't work like I want it to, plan B. All right, new brush. I'll move this one aside. And we'll get out the glue brush. And those of you who knew my old glue brush, it went in the trash and I got a new one. Look at it's nice. My other one was just so unbelievable. It was time to get rid of it. All right. Just getting some of the water out. All right. Let's go. We'll try some matte medium directly on it and see if the paint moves at all. No, it doesn't look like it's going to. Okay. Okay. We be good.
I wasn't sure if the ink on that paper would move either, but it didn't, so we're good. We are good to go. This is from 1928. My mother was two years old. I should have measured this box to give you guys an idea of how big it is. It's not real big. I'll measure it here in a minute because measuring is an important thing in life. Dee, if you want to give free advice as I'm going along, feel free. Because if I'm going to take anybody's advice, it would probably be yours. The sides, let me, let me think if I want to, um, you know what I need, I need a card to press this down. I don't mind some wrinklage, but if I can prevent it or keep it to a minimum, that's kind of what I would prefer, so... I'll glue the edges last, I think, is what I'll do. I'll either glue it or trim it, probably. I was one step ahead of you, Dee Dee. And the shine, now that I'm getting some matte medium down, you can see that the shine is diminishing, so that's a good thing. Most of this should not have wrinklage, but and these little bit heavier pieces, I will go ahead and put the matte medium on the back. Most of this is so absorbent, I don't know that, that it's necessary to do that. Got a bubble. That's what I didn't want. Okay, and see, I'm, I'm peeling up some of the paint here and there. Bad, bad, bad idea. I probably should have, but it's all going to be covered at some point, so it doesn't matter. Um, I probably should have sanded the box a little bit before I started. I didn't think of it. Look at this little um, fairy girl. We'll put her on later. Just cutting these tickets apart. This looks like a sticker. Yeah. Let's see. I 
I may not be able to use it because I can't get the backing off. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that I can't do that. Let me try with an exacto. See, these have these backings on it, which makes me think it's sticker. Um, and I don't necessarily care about the sticker part because um, I'm a matte medium anyway, right? But getting the backer off is a pain. Now I'm getting frustrated, like really frustrated. All right, anybody got ideas for getting the backing off these things? I'm seeing things, if they're bubbling, I'm trying to deal with them immediately. Why do they do this? Why can't they leave you a little flipper do to get it off? Part of my problem is I can't see. I wonder if I tried to glue that down, if it would work. You guys, these things that have this backer on it, I may not be able to use. That's a bummer because I was really looking forward to it. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's move on. I ain't got time for that. Don't you know? Oops, got one over there already. Well, I wasn't sure if I was going to let parts of the black show through. I, I think I'm probably not going to now since it's um, scraping easily. And I'll add some black back to the top, I think is probably what I'm going to end up doing. This is what you learn when you do this stuff. Just looking around, seeing if there's other stuff I want to include. Oh, I was going to use some of these. 
postcards. Let me see if they tear apart easily because they're kind of thick. I won't use the entire thing. I'll use pieces of it. Keep your fingers crossed. Mm, not great, but not horrible either. So... ASMR. You like ASMR? God, for a while, those were huge. Maybe they still are. I don't know. I was never much on ASMR videos, but I know a lot of people were. There we go. That worked really good. Really, really, really good. One more corner, and we can start tearing this crap. So what day are we on? We're on the 8th. Ooh, it's less than two weeks before the kids get here. I'm psyched about that. Yeah, let's do that because it's not completely dry yet. That one has the potential to be a pain in the butt, so. over here. I don't know how I'm deciding what's going where, you guys. I just decide. One of those, don't think about it, just do it. And I don't necessarily want well, there's going to be a straight edge because it's the edge of the box, but I don't necessarily care if there's a straight edge on here. Tearing this one apart. It's really a nice day here, you guys. I'm actually sitting here a little bit warm, and it's been so cool. So... I'm happy for that, because, God, last week was... Seemed like forever long, because it was so gray all week. So I want to leave that. Okay. You can tell I'm not as practiced as Dee Dee, right?
stay where I put you. Samard. Um, it is a box. It's that box um, that my that um, watercolor that I bought last week came in. And it's just a really nice solid box. And it's got the magnetic closure and everything. It's just too nice a box to throw in the trash. So um, yeah, my hoarding tendencies are determining that I, I must do this. I might have to get out more matte medium. And this that I'm gluing down right now is kind of like vellum, and I'm not sure how the coloring is going to stay after. We'll just have to wait and see. Because vellum, after you glue it down, gets kind of see-through. That one definitely has some little bubbles under it. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. <clears throat> I like these pen nibs, too, but it's got that darn stuff on the back. I may just have to take the time to figure it out, you guys, because I want to use it. Ugh. It's sucking to be me right now. Actually don't want an entire circle on here so I'll cut part of it off and I'll add it somewhere else because I'm not crazy about the entire circle I probably should start gluing somewhere other than the top of the box so I don't do crap like this like the idiot that I'm behaving like Yeah, I like the vellum. I almost got out the, um, I have a whole pad of Tim Holtz um, vellum, and I almost got it out, but then I thought, well, with the black background, I'm not sure how that's going to behave, but since um, Sharon sent it, I thought, well, go ahead and use it, and I'm putting this down just for background so that if I use the other vellum, um, it's got a lighter background to sit on. Do you know how icky my hands are going to be to get clean later? I want you all to sit around and feel really sorry for me for a while. So far, pretty good, Dee Dee. I'm not seeing any bubbles. Oop, that vellum kind of has wrinklage. We're going to try and fix that. Maybe we can't. And if we can't, then it's just texture and we're going to live with it. Man, I thought I had scraped that down really good. Apparently not. It's just going to have wrinklage, it looks to me. If that's the worst thing that happens all day... We're going to call it a good day.
this is that same vellum again, so I'm going to really smush it down this time. And watch, it'll wrinkle edge. I'll watch it closer this time. See, let's see, you could add a coat of water down long and ink to the whole thing. Give, yeah, Dee Dee, that's a good idea, actually. I am going to try and add some gold and black circles and just, you know, at the end. But yeah, I agree with you. And I do have walnut ink that I could do that with. So, Dee Dee's that girl always thinking. That's one thing you can count on. If Dee Dee's around, the girl is thinking. She's really smart that way. But that was part of the reason, too, that I thought I would use this paper around the whole box um, so that you see some elements repeated, kind of make it more cohesive. So that was my thinking there. Yeah, that vellum, it is very wrinkleage. So um, if you're going to use that vellum in collage, just be mindful. Oh, there's one of my hairs. <sighs> I love when that happens. All right, let's see if we can fix this vellum right now. I really don't want it that wrinkled. I don't mind a little wrinklage, but holy cow, let's be real. I could be making this so much worse, you guys. I think I am. So we're just going to have to glue it down as best we can. All right. I'm not going to use any more of that vellum as much as I like it because it looks like that's going to create problems for me. And life is too short to fight with vellum or pens that don't write. If you come across stuff like that, throw it away. Life is too short to deal with crap like that. You can cut it out like that, though. Yeah. Not a perfect fix, but it'll work. All right. Yeah, vellum will always wrinkle. I just didn't think it would wrinkle that bad, but it's okay. I don't mind. Cut it, glue it down, move on. Life's too short to put up with crap. I do love talking about vellum. All right, I'm going to have to glue somewhere else because now I'm starting to act stupid. Um... That one ain't going. Um, I do love to draw on vellum with ink, I will say. Ruler's going on last. All right, let's pick out some of this other stuff. I'm getting in the... This is really, really old ephemera, you guys. Like, this is stuff that's been around virtually forever. I like this J.P. Coates thing. We'll slap it down right here in the center. And it's not too thick. It's a little bit thicker than regular, but it's not too thick. I'm going to tear it again. Because there's certain things on here now that I don't want to start covering. I like that sold right there. I like that piece of ruler. So... And maybe I shouldn't care. Maybe that's one thing is you just got to put it down and then not care. 
Like, whatever happens, happens, and you got to be okay with it. Works for people who irritate you, too. <laughs> Out they go. There you go. I totally get it. Do we want a picture of a person? Do we want a person on there, just a random person somewhere? Why not? Daddy. He'll probably end up covered up anyway, so who cares? Does it look like a complete mess? Let's see what this is. I, get, I like this, but I don't want the whole thing. Well, I'm going to tear it off anyway, so it doesn't matter. You're liking it? Okay, good. Yes for the random person. Random person got a place on the box. Oh, I like this little thing too. I'll show you these things that I'm finding. This little flower thing. Um, I'm going to save it for a little bit later because I think it, at some point it's going to be obvious that there are places on here that need color. Um, and that would be a good one just to... Um, use color. When your hands get too sticky, I think, I, oh, no, because that's what I didn't want to cover. <laughs> Dumb. I'm sure I'll lose things that I didn't want to cover. Oh, well. The sepia overtones, see that? That was me, Rachel, when I was thinking about doing this. It was like, well, because so much of this vintage stuff is that sepia kind of color, um, that I thought that would be kind of the cohesive thing. But I, th I agree with Dee Dee that if I, after I get it all done at the end, if I go over it with, like a walnut stain or something like that. Um, yeah, I'll end up liking that a lot. More than anything, you guys, I'm just tickled to death that I'm using stuff that I've owned forever. Um, and every time I open the box to put something new in or something, it's just like, when are you ever going to use this stuff? And that's why I quit buying stuff. It was like, I was really angry at myself. Um... Because I do love it, but do I ever sit down and go through it and use it and love it like I should? No. That aggravates me. That is aggravating. So right now, I'm telling you guys, I'm pretty damn proud of my bad self. And I don't necessarily want anything on there real straight.
There you go, Rachel. I agree with you. Yeah, it kind of goes with my age. That I, I fit. It fits me. Now this one I am going to do somewhat straight. After I just said that. So I'm excited about the kids coming. I just mentioned that a minute ago. Um, I got word that my little granddaughter is going to be able to come. She she got a job. She's only 16. She got a job. And she's actually working five days a week. Um, and so she had to ask for time off to come. And her boss yesterday said okay you can you can go so I was excited and I don't know if the older one's gonna be able to come so we're waiting to see on her but it would be really fun if we could all have Thanksgiving together because of COVID the last few years nobody's been able to get together right so yeah I'm I'm very excited that the girls are coming and they're actually gonna stay um, longer than they would normally get to. So, try it, Brenda. So, yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to want to do when they're here. I think a lot of times their life is so busy, just in real life. Um, I think when they come here, it's just fun that we can sit around and yak and play games or go drive the golf cart and of course it's too cold now and there none of the water um toys are in the lake so we won't be doing any of that and they can't go swimming but um honestly i i think just hanging out is probably fun enough and of course i'll take them shopping and buy them stuff but yeah i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be fun Y'all are making fun of me, aren't you? <laughs> Buttheads. Where do we want some additional red? We need red over here, I think. some garbage to clean this nasty ass thing off. Just looking to see. I'm, the only place I've got wrinklage that I'm not crazy about is um, the vellum. Live and learn. Live and learn. That's garbage. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun throwing this junk away. That's all vellum, so I can't have that. Let's see what else we got. Don't want to use that. I'll put that somewhere else. The little fairy is going to go on somewhere. And this little music ticket, of course, it matches. It's small. I think I'm afraid that would get lost on there. We're definitely using that one. Sharon, your box was very timely, I have to say. Now let's put it over here. This is a ticket that has some iris on it. It's really pretty. And I want most of it on the box. There we go.
My allergies have been really bad since yesterday, so if I'm sniffing again, I'm sorry. I did do my medicine this morning, though, which I said I wasn't going to do that. Slip something thin and sharp between the sticker. Tim Holtz, you, I can try that, Mary. Thank you. Because, um, yeah, I would like using some of that stuff. Let me... I tried. Part of the problem is... Um, my eyesight <laughs> sucks so bad. And I do have a pokey tool. Where did I put it? There it is. Um, I wish you guys could see my room right now. One day, what day was Oh, look at Mary. Man, I want to kiss you on the lips, Mary. Look at that. Pokey tool stuff worked. I kiss you on the lips. I swear to God, girl. Kiss you right on the lips. All right. Now this, oh, now that I've got it, what do I want to do with it? I think I'm going to put it right across there. Okay. Before I do that, I do want to get some matte medium down. But it's, it's sticky. So hopefully, of course, it's all wet. So... Okay, here we go. Yep, that's good. That's good. I love that. I'm putting nothing over that. That is living there for freaking ever. I actually have a pair of scissors just like that. Thank you, Mary. I owe you, Mary. Ooh, not the lips. Okay, not the lips. A kiss you on your cheek. I love that. Now don't act like the vellum or you're going to piss me off. <laughs> that worked great. Yeah, baby, baby. That's vellum. Can't use that. All right, in here, I want... Yeah, I'm going to add some of this coffee dyed paper to work on top of so there we go It's getting pretty layered now, and I'm liking it a lot. All right. Mm, I'm going to have to leave it. I'll just have to put something on top of it. Because that's really bugging me. Really bugging me, but it's. I think I'll make a bigger mess if I try and do anything else with it. So I'm going to have to leave it. Back to your clusters. It is getting better and better, right? And there's certain elements now that I'm thinking, oh, I really like that. I don't want to cover that. I don't want to do that. You know, so, yeah, it's getting character. That's what you would call it. You would call it character. Okay, and I'm going to use this up here. And I was going to use um, some paint, but I'm not sure if I will. I may just do Dee Dee's idea where I do the walnut stain. Um, and I don't want that. I want it covering for sure. Okay. You know what? Most of it's showing, but yeah. 
So how many of you guys are going to be doing pocket letters after Dee Dee showed that this morning? That when we were all doing them, they were fun. I will say that. They were fun to do and they were fun to get. And it was one of the good things about it is you went through your stuff. And that's one thing I remember. And I didn't see um, a pocket letter from me and Dee Dee's stuff this morning. But Robert was getting a little talky during that again. Um, I hate when he gets talky during Dee Dee. But, yeah, that's a whole nother story. Um... Anyway, and it could have been, I remember we did a, um, a swap where, you know, you sent however many in and got however many back. Um, I know we did one of those, but so that would mean that Dee Dee may not have been able to keep one of mine, right? But they were fun to do. I did enjoy doing them, but they're, they're more work than you think. Just saying, more work than you think. But I hope you guys that are doing it and found trade partners and stuff like that, I hope you have a ton of fun because um, if you've never done them before, they are way, way awesome. Way awesome. And Dee Dee's been around long enough, and I'm not making a comment about her age because we are the same age. Just saying. Um... But she's been around long enough, you guys, that if there was ever a fad, Dee Dee, you know, participated in it. So you can see some really cool stuff. She's even got, I was thinking this morning, Dee Dee, because I, I was having that thought while you were showing your stuff. Um, yeah, um, go watch and see what we're talking about, the pocket letters with um, the... Oh, baseball trading card sleeves. What do you, you what do you call them? Um, protective sleeves, where you put junk in there. Um, but Dee Dee, remember, and I think you have some. And I, it was before I was really involved in the whole um, art journaling and all that. Um, do you have some of those dominoes? It seems like I've seen you show those before. If you think about it, get those out and show because yours were amazeballs. The ones you created. And I remember that from I don't even know how many years ago. That the ones you did were just so amazing. Um... That, yeah, if you still have, I know you still have them because I saw them. The traded dominoes. You didn't swap the dominoes? Where the heck did I see them? I could have sworn that that was something you had shown us and that you had done. Well, if it wasn't you, who the heck was it? But those, that, that's one of the fads that I thought, man, I wish I had been involved. I could have sworn that they, you had some of those in with your ATCs when you showed them. Colleen, maybe. See, I'm not sure now. Ugh, that's so annoying. Because I could have sworn that was Dee Dee Willingham. I'll have to think about it. All right, thinking I want something in there, but I want to, I'm just going to put some of this paper in there. So whatever color I put on top. Yeah, that'll be okay. Um, sticks out because I want something kind of colorful right there. It's too prominent in the center not to, so... I can't believe you didn't do the dominoes. That's too close to that. Mm, I don't 
don't think I want that on there. Totally different color. I don't mind the red background or red colors and green because that's kind of the way it's just worked itself out. I didn't really plan that, but it's kind of worked out that that's what's going on. So let's see. Here's something with red on it. Kathy Berg, Colleen. Yeah, see, I'm trying to think. I, I don't think it was either one of them. But I'm trying to think who else we um, have followed through the years um, that would have, you know, been active that far back. Because that's been years before I got into all this. But I always thought maybe it was Eileen. You know what? I'll bet you 100 bucks it is Eileen. Because she's been around doing that stuff for years and years and years. So, yeah, I'll bet you it's Eileen. So if you tear away from you, you don't get the white. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm thinking, you guys. Yeah, it's looking okay so far. I'm liking it. Um, need to get some stuff up in these two areas. Maybe... Yeah, that's two squares, though. I'm not crazy about that. Maybe I'll use it. All right, that's what I'm going to do. And if um, cutting or tearing this stuff up bugs you guys, don't do anything like this or you yeah, make you crazy. I do like the layers where you can kind of start seeing things peeking out from underneath. That's kind of fun. All 
Uh, you can tell that certain messes are starting to bother me. So, I haven't decided yet if I want the ruler on the top. No, I'll probably put it on the front here, and I won't put anything over it, so I'm saving it. Saving it for later. All right, let's pick out something else really colorful right now. To put over that right there. I almost wish I had some white paint, but oh well. We're going with this right here. This is again sticker stuff. Got some boogers off my finger there. No, I'm trying to cover up the black there. Maybe this isn't a good thing to put there. Maybe right there like that. Yep. That's where it is, like it or not. All right, let's open up another pack of something. cleaning off my finger <laughs> fingers I'm getting enough matte medium that I can ball it up now all right this is a pack of stuff that I bought when Dee Dee ordered it and it was from um, paper game I think but I loved it when she showed it so it was like yep I gotta buy that and this was the postcard they sent with um, the order. So, Art Nouveau kind of stuff. Um, that's all vellum, so I can't use that. Just seeing if there's anything. I mean, this isn't exactly Art Nouveau stuff, right? But I think the colors are really nice. Like, I need color over here. I've got too much white. But I've got cool elements over there that I don't want to cover up either. So there's that. Hey, Julie. I don't know. Maybe these just aren't going to work. I love them very, very much. But I'm not sure they're going to work here on the top. I think they just don't go with, yeah, I think I'm going to save those for another project. But I've got these cool things, so I'll do a postage stamp one over here. I have knocked so much crap down on the floor, I'm going to be cleaning up this mess for a week. These are too thick. They're stickers, but they're um, heavier than cardstock. You know, they're about that weight of cardstock. And they're coated, so yeah, they're going to go. And that can go there because I don't need the white underneath. Alright, I only have a couple more black places to cover. For the most part, I've got enough layers now. I've got a couple different keys. 
I like that one. And then on here, there's this one. And if I cover it up with matte medium, it won't be quite so gold. Another thing I could do is get gold foil out and put some gold here and there. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Um, but that wouldn't be a horrible thing. I'm going to put that one up there. I like the color and the size and everything is perfect for up there. I'm going to have to take a minute, you guys, and go wash my hands because my hands are getting unmanageable. Okay, Mary, thanks for coming and thanks for helping me out with my problem. Have a great day. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something with these hands because when you can no longer use your fingers, it's not a good thing. Just saying. I'm going to take a break real quick and go try and get some of this off my hands so my hands can start working again. Because, yeah, when your hands don't work, it's bad news. Bad news. All right, it looks like everything other than the vellum is sticking down pretty darn good. So that's a good thing. All right, entertain yourselves for a minute while I go um, wash my hands. feels so much better. I think I can maneuver now. <clears throat> All right, and some of these other places, I think I'm going to use some washi tape. Look at, they're not great, but they're better. And there was so much matte medium, it just balled up. Aaron in the Adirondacks. Anybody else I missed? I'm not sure if I said hi, Brenda. All right, let's use some of this airmail tape. Oops, I don't want balls of matte medium on there. Now, those um, little folders that I showed you at the beginning that I I have no clue where they are now. They have been buried. They may never surface for... No, here we are. These that I did a long, long time ago, these are all washi tape. Nothing but washi tape. So all the little designs in the background, put washi tape down and then um, melded them in with a little bit of paint. That's what I thought I was going to do here. But I'm not sure I'm going to do that now. I'll just use some washi tape here and there. Oops. Because washi tape is another thing. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. But honestly, um, I don't use it enough. So I'm just going to randomly put some... Oh, shoot. I don't trust the... 
get it. Um, yeah, I don't trust the, the stick on washi tape. So, be sure to glue it down because, yeah, washi tape stick is not good stick. So for these small areas that I just need something in there, um, I think washi tape will be perfect. Perfect. Okay, pick one thing up off the floor, drop three. Here's some birds with flowers and leaves and junk. Yeah, that's weird, right? Yeah. Okay, this I'm going to cover up some of those wrinkles on the vellum. And I'm going to smush it down. Rachel said, hey, Robert. Oh, he can't hear, Rachel. He's um, got his headphones on. He's been out running the mower. And it is a really, really pretty day here, so it's a good day to do it. All right, and here's some Tim Holtz cloth tape. We can use that up. Uh, I'll use that up there. Problem with the cloth tape is you can't tear it, so you end up with a hard edge, but who cares? Who cares? All right. Having the same trouble getting the backing off here. Why do they have to make everything so flippin' difficult? Pokey tool. This is why you have to buy a Tim Holtz Pokey tool. Because it's the only way you can use his products. <laughs> And the, the cloth tape, now, I didn't put down the um, matte medium. I'll go over it with matte medium, but that tape, that has some serious sticky on it. Like, don't expect that you're ever going to get it up when you put it down. It, it isn't, isn't going to happen. Look at how old some of this stuff is. You guys, some of you guys probably seen this years ago, hundred years ago. not worrying about the edges right now. I got to put something there. So I, maybe I'll put the little fairy. I don't know. I want the little fairy right where I can see him all the time. Is Didi taking off? Okay, Didi, go have a good afternoon. I'll talk to you later.
Later Gator. I've only got about an hour left. But I do want him front and center. Yeah, he's a cute little bad boy. And oddly enough, even though Sharon sent that to me, and I'll always probably remember that, every time I look at that little fairy, I will actually think of my mother. My mother loved little fairies. The edge of that is acting like it wants to pop up. All right, I still have tons of stuff that I haven't looked through, so. I'm going to grab a couple butterflies out of the Tim Holtz butterfly collection and fill in some of these blank spots. A lot of this won't get put back in the package, I don't think. I think I will end up just throwing it in there, probably. There's a little tiny butterfly. We're going to use him. Monarch. Actually, October is generally the month that we have the monarch butterflies come through. And I don't remember seeing any. So that's weird. Alright, and these are card cardboard, so I'm going to have to tear them apart. Fortunately, that's easy for me. Getting the stickers off, not so easy. Go figure. And there's some pretty big ephemera in there. I'm not going to use it. If I was going to use it, I would have used it on the first layer. Now it's just filling in here and there, adding color where I want color. I do want some color right in here, I think. There's nothing in there I am going to miss or lose, I don't think. We'll find out. Too late. All right, you guys, anybody have any suggestions for what you want me to add or do? liking this I think you had some monarchs this year I have I usually when they come through here in October and it's usually about the 10th of October on for a few months or a few weeks a um, couple weeks anyway um, generally you see large numbers of them I don't remember seeing any this year so I don't know what that's about. Maybe they took a different route because our weather sucked. I don't know. Because our weather did suck this year. That one is not going to stay there. So I'm just going to move him right now before... Yeah, hopefully he'll stay here because he, I could just tell he wasn't going to stay there. I don't think how much matte medium I used, it wasn't going to stay there. All right, let's smush them down.
You have to be a little bit careful with the edges. That's the only free advice I'll give you. I'm not sure I'm going to use that one. Let's see if there's any other place. I need another. Let's see if I can find something circular. I kind of like that watch. I'm trying to um, eliminate a lot of these hard square edges up here by adding here I'll add this um, by adding something round of course it's much the same color so and that's got a circle around there okay maybe there I'll find something with a little bit more color for up there Now, I have to say, these stickers, they're kind of thick, but boy, that sticky on them is really good. Of course, I've got a circle there. E, E, E. No, it's here that I was going to put it. Duh. Find something with some color. Oh, here's a circle with color. I found the right thing. That will be perfect. That's what you... And see, this is not as thick. Yeah, I'm going to use this. I'm not going to tear it apart. It's not that thick, but I think it'll be okay. And the edges, remember, I'm going to fold over the sides, so I'm just going to leave them out like that. Perfect. That was exactly what I needed. God, I love when a plan comes together. All right, I'm going to hit this with a heat gun. I, I think for the most part, I've got things where I want it. I've got a few places where I can use my um, letter stamps. Um, but just looking at it in the camera, I'm liking it. And I think when, um, when I go over the whole thing with some walnut ink, I... Yeah, because at this point, I'm just going to be layering up stuff. I'm not seeing, like, I want something right there. Um, but I think I'm going to wait until I find the exact right thing. And I don't want you guys to have to sit and wait. And then here on the edges in a few places, um, I'm going to want to add something. Yeah, I hope that wax paper is yeah, no, it's not stuck. Whew. I was going to say, I may have created a huge mess here, you guys, but I haven't. Now, I'm going to hit it with a heat gun real quick. And then we'll try some um, color balance and shape balance are great. See, that's kind of what I'm thinking is that right now, just looking down at it, I'm feeling really comfortable with 
I, I feel like I'm not liking this right in here. I'm not liking that right in there. Um, but otherwise, as I'm looking around, there's plenty for your eyes to go to. It doesn't feel too crazy. Maybe it's just crazy enough. But let me hit it with a heat gun and we'll see where we're at. Another thing you guys could do, I was just thinking about this, is um, I want to use my Tim Holtz letter stamps, like these, here and there, um, because it's, it's more cohesion, right? Um, another thing you could do is stamp that on tissue paper and then use the tissue paper as collage. I think I'm going to stamp direct. But yeah, tissue paper is really nice because then you can control the size and the shape and how much you use. So actually, that's probably the best way to do it. And you can dye the tissue paper or just use it white. The white almost disappears. shiny up there I wanted to get rid of. Thanks, Joan. Actually, if I was halfway smart, I would use this as an ephemera box now, right? should be dry enough yeah I don't feel anything real wet um let me think of all the ideas that you could do now I could use circles and ink I could use um I am going to use the stamps I could um stencil on this now and I actually did bring out I thought well if I needed to add some um some color in different places that wouldn't be too much in your face that I could use the um well hell let's just try it what did I do with the stencilage hang on I know I brought it out here it's just now what did I do with it I think I piled that stuff on top of it here we go some shape that's not too objectionable, and maybe in here there's just not going to be any. Oh, you know what? I know which ones I'm going to get out. Um, probably one of my favorite stencils, and I think I put it in the other room. I don't think I even have it here anymore. All right, let me go grab it. It shouldn't be hard to find.
probably end up covering it with matte medium, but um, if I use this wax, it's going to smell really good. Favorite stencil of all times. I'm going to use the vintage gold. Do I want to use the vintage gold or do I want to use a little bit of that red? Yeah, let's just see. I'll start with the vintage gold in some of these places that I'm just not crazy about. You know, I want something there. You probably won't even notice it, honestly. I think the vintage gold just disappears into the background. So, let me look at the, see about the red. Because remember, I'm going to go over it with the walnut, so it's not going to stay in your face red. And I'm, I blot it off like that, so I only have a little bit on the brush when I do this stencilage. And I don't want large amounts. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, I can deal with that. If you've never used these Finnabar waxes, they are so nice. Do it, Dorothy. Get on it. Don't wait. I'm going to go over the gold with the red. And this stuff, guys, if, like a little bit goes a long, long way. Um... Like, I'm seriously, like that little tiny amount. Look, I still have some left. It just goes on forever. And like here, okay. To disguise this hard edge, like in here, there's nothing really there that is terribly appealing. So by just um, stenciling that, you, you'll obscure that so that your eye doesn't... Um, it, it's not offensive to your eye. And this may be the perfect way to um, get some cohesion. Because, like, you can't even really see it, right? It's just kind of there. I'm glad I thought of that. It's a good idea. All right. I can come back and do more of that later if I'm looking at it and it just I just feel like uh it needs something, it's missing something. But this is a great stencil. It's called microbial, I think. Oh, mini microbial. And it's um Crafters Workshop by Jamie. But it honestly, of all the stencils that I own that I've used over and over and over again, that's probably the single one that I just, I will use over and over and over again. Wish I had a human stencil to erase anything offensive to the eye. Oh my God, Rachel. What a fabulous idea. How can we do that? All right, I was good. No, I'm going to use black. I was going to say, well, maybe I should use brown ink on this, but I think um, it it's ready for some black. Good, Dorothy. That'd be awesome. 
Okay, I think I'm going to use... I bought these stamps because of Dee Dee. I have not used them yet. Um, but I think I either want the italic alphabet there or um, that one. I think this one. Yeah, I think this one. <clears throat> and it should be pretty juicy, um, the stamp pad, because I just juiced it up the other day. Okay, that piece good. That piece good. I have no room here, okay? I'm not going to use too much of it because I'm actually really okay with the amount of stuff, the layout. I wish I hadn't put that square on, but it's on there now. The only thing I could do now is um, cover it, but I'm not going to. Because I yike it and I need something right there. But a stamp ain't going to do it. Let's see if I have other. I think I'm going to use some more of this. Um, where did I put that other roll? There it is. Um, yeah, I'm going to use some more of this um, cloth tape. Not much, but a little bit. Here I go again, fighting with the backing. Ugh. Okay, I know that it doesn't take that much effort to put like a slice in this tape here and there. Why the hell don't they do it when they print this shit? You can tell my frustration level is growing. I moved it closer to my face so I could see. All right. There. Got it. Whew. Holy crap, hola. And this I definitely have to... No, it's got to go like that to cover what I want to cover. Okay. It's just going on there regardless. And I got to cover it with matte medium because its texture is different. All right. What else do I need to cover right here, right quick? I don't mind the black there. Okay. Those of you with Uber experience. Um, would you add black splatters or circles or anything like that before we call this top kind of done? There's a couple places I think I would like the black splatters or the black circles. Zena. Ooh, I like that. No, that'll go on the front. This is the one I just picked up. I really like that. But I want to get, I want to, right now, and I guess I could, if I find something later that I don't like, I can always add on top too. But I do like that, and I'm going to use that. CB, wake up from your nap and tell me. Would you add some black circles 
or splatters at this point or not. I need some free advice. So help me out here, you crazy winch. Getting these things to stick on the edges might be more trouble than I expect. I don't know. If they are, I'll cut them off. I would add a few small black splatters. Thank you, Terry. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, you're here, or yes, ma'am, add some black splatters. Before I add the walnut. You can't just walk in here and say, yes, ma'am. Splatters, black, four. <laughs> okay, that's all I needed to know. I'm on it. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is this is good. I'm liking it. I might come back later and add some ink on these edges as well. Depends on um, how these um, things that I've left hanging off. It will depend on how well they fold over, honestly. Number four. What are you making? Zena, it's, I'm covering a box. I bought some watercolors um, a few weeks ago, and the box that they came in was just too good. Here, I can take this out now. It should, excuse me, dry enough. I'm hoping. Um, and before I do these sides, I probably am going to go ahead and sand it. But anyway, yeah, it's it was a box that, my watercolors came in and it's so nice a box it's got a really nice magnetic closure it's a good size um, so yeah I just covered it it had the company logo and it was bright green and purple and so I just used some ephemera and made it look kind of vintage and before I oh I want something there I'll just add some more washi more washi, where's some washi? I'll just pick something. Quit being a pain in the neck. This will work. I don't want it to say diabetes, though. The four jumped into the chat all by itself. Oh, my God. CB, I hate when that happens. Yeah, this is medicine. No, I don't want to use this on there. I'll pick a flower or something. I don't know. Sharon certainly sent something else that I can use here. Oh, I'll use some of her washi that she sent that I just stuck down on my table. Hello. Because that's about how much I need. Oh, I just put my brush in the water. Oh. Thanks, B. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. All right, I'm not going to put my brush back in the water until I'm done with it. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not the brightest bulb on the marquee. All right, I'm going to dry it, add some black splatterage, and if I find any other place that I'm not comfy with, I'll deal with it later. All the four letter words are you kidding I invented most of them I'm pretty sure and I taught them to my kids pretty sure all 
All right, that peeled a little bit. I should leave it alone. One thing, they, if you do use these waxes, the heat will set those as well. Um, as long as they're wet, they will have a tendency to want to smear. But if you heat set them, they will stay put. Pretty much. Okay. I think that's dry. Let's make some black. And I'm going to use ink rather than acrylic paint. You can make splatterage stuff with black paint, but I think in this case, I'm just going to use some carbon black ink that I know for certain will not move. I'm dropping stuff all over. Somebody needs to get their butt over here and clean up after me because I'm a mess. I wonder what I dropped. Remind me, because next week I'll be looking for whatever that was. All right, here's carbon black ink. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather use this. It's going to stay nice and black. I won't water it down much. A little bit goes a long, long way, too. And I just use a fan brush. It's an old one. It's crappy. Are you going to come clean for with me, Rachel? That would be so awesome. I would love that. Okay, so I just use a fan brush. It's been wet, but I dried it off. And then it's a little easier. It doesn't make too big a splatters. You'll get little splatterage. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some more ink. Um, but the thing is, it stays nice and black. Oops, and if you want big ones, do that. <laughs> I was going to say, that will give you a big splatterage. But now I need, I know there's some here. There we go. Okay, I don't know how well you can see it, but the little splatterage is pretty nice. There we go. All right, and I'm going to, I'm kind of thinking right now, before I get too much further, i get a piece of sponge out should have some in here. There we go. I'm going to try some to ink the edges. I think I will like the edges inked. Tell me what you guys think. Of course, after it's done, it's done. But yeah, I think I'm going to ink the edges. To me, it just always looks a little more finished when the edges are inked. And I'm not even sure that your eyes notice it so much, but your brain feels it. At least mine does.
Yeah, I like that. I like it. Let's see by now if that was my desk, my white sleeve would be in that ink spot. Oh, believe me, every clothes I wear, Rachel, are paint clothes. Like, if I have dress-up clothes, I either have to go buy them brand new or I have to dig so far back in the back of my closet that the clothes aren't going to fit anymore. I promise you. Like, I don't have, there's no such thing in my world as non-paint clothes. It, it's just not a thing. And it used to upset me when I would wear something that was not intended to be art clothes and then I'd get paint on it. And it was almost like a sense of relief that, oh God, I'm glad that's over with. I don't have to worry about that anymore, you know? All right, I need to hit this with a heat gun and dry that ink. And then I think I'm ready to go over it with the walnut ink. Yeah, we'll see. This has to be really dry because if I go over it with anything now, you know it's going to smear. So... Trying to find a clean finger. how we're going to pick up any spots that aren't completely dry yet. Some of them, because there's matte medium on this, the ink is, rather than absorbing, it's wanting to sit on top. So there's just little tiny bits of wet left. So that's okay. Not much. Okay, I was going to, oh, right here, I was going to try and go ahead and scrape off some rough edges because they will, over time, annoy the hell out of me. Just saying. One thing about having intermediate OCD is you know the things that are going to bother you. And when you know them, that's a good thing because... You can just take care of them. You, you just quit sweating the small stuff. You just deal with it. Okay. I can do that later. All right. Let's go over it. Let's get some walnut ink out. And I'll need a little container. In the way. I haven't used it in so long, I'm not sure where it is, so I have to find it. Maybe 
Maybe I don't even keep it down here. Maybe it's up here. Another thing you could always use if you want to do this is if you have a refill of the Tim Holtz vintage photo, and I might end up using that because I'm not finding my walnut. Where would I put that? Hmm. <laughs> well, that's something I'm going to have to find. God, I haven't used it in years, so I'm not, not really sure. I would have thought, there, is that it? Walnut ink crystals mix. Um, seven to one mix with water. I think just for safety, I'm going to use the Tim Holtz. Yeah, I think just to be safe. Because I know I like the vintage photo color. You know it's going to look old and sepia. So I'm just going to use the Distress Ink Refill. Grab some of it. Put a few little drops in. <clears throat> um, mix it with some... few little drops of water. Oops. Don't want to leave that on my white cabinet. That could be icky. Um, and I'm going to use the same brush that I used the um, matte medium with because I'm going to wash it anyway. So, um, but before I go too whack a cr doodle crazy. That's still a little dark to me. So let me add just another drop or two of water. Wow, that's still really dark and I don't want it dark. I don't want to obliterate everything, so. Like one drop of that walnut goes a long, long way too, so. Looking for some white paper to test it on. still think I'd like it slightly lighter than that. Oh, we're going with that. Dear God, you know the names. Thank you, Rachel. All right, we're going to go over this with this vintage photo. I'll start down here in this corner. All right, some of this it's not wanting to, the wax is rejecting it. So I should have gone over the wax with the matte medium because the wax is oh that black moved. That's not a good thing. It's supposed to be permanent. Um. All right, as much as I don't like the idea, I'm going to have to go over that wax with some matte medium so that um, the wax won't reject the, um, of course, when I, when you get the, it around it, it doesn't matter. Hmm. But now those I don't know why those black dots right there are smeared, but yeah, we're going. We're just going with it. 
quit being, you'd think I'm doing this for the freaking queen or something, right? Now, if I really wanted this to be absorbent, I would have um, in between the last layer and this layer, um, you could do a layer of absorbent ground. And that would definitely make this more absorbent because remember, we've got a layer of um, matte medium on it. And the matte medium is not absorbent. I mean, it, it's going to take the color to some extent, but um, yeah, not like if I did a, a layer of absorbent ground on there. And absorbent ground you find in the watercolor area. And you can put it on virtually anything and it will make it absorbent. I've never tried it on, say, glass. But they say it'll work on virtually anything and make it absorbent so that you can watercolor on any surface is the whole idea there. So, but I have to say I've never tried it. I have tried it where I've used matte medium. That's the only time I've ever used it. And if this doesn't work well, I'll come back with a layer of absorbent ground and put on there. But I think it's going to work just fine. Well, I heard that Her Majesty was in your neighborhood checking on slots. <laughs> yeah, it, it comes out kind of all um, yummy when it all has that same kind of tint, so... If Dee Dee hadn't suggested it, I think I would have thought of it, but thank you, Dee Dee, for suggesting it. Um, yeah, and I'm glad I lightened it. It's just dark enough. I didn't want it to be real, real dark, so this is just about perfect. If you want it darker, what I would suggest is go ahead and use the absorbent ground. But that is just dark enough that it kind of just yanks everything together. So I like it. I will be taking a photograph of this momentarily and posting it on Instagram. And I should take a picture of that little sloth guy in the beast. You're the axolotl. And Sharon, again, thank you so much for my sloth. It's a whole different box, I have to say. So I'm probably not going to work on it anymore today, even though I've got the mess out. I'll just get a box and throw all this junk in and then hide it from myself overnight and probably work on it um, tomorrow. Yeah, and I think you'll be able to see it better when I take a photograph of it. Um, I like it. I like it. I, I'm happy with this. I'm A-OK -okay with it. So there you go. That's a way to use up your ephemera. Um, one thing I will do, um, just because, okay, the Distress products are not permanent, you guys. So if I wanted to even lighten this up a little bit, I could probably get a wet paper towel or sponge or something and go over this and pull some of this up. But when I'm done with this whole box... I will spray it with a matte finish. Okay? I know, but right, Barbara? It's been a lucky me day. I'm going to have a lucky week because of my birthday coming up Sunday. So by the time I see you guys again, I will actually be a year older. That's really caca, right? Not really. I like every age I've ever been. I'm not a... I... Some days I feel my age, some days I feel 
like a teenager. How much of that stack of goodies did you use? Oh, Barbara, don't even ask. I It's still far too large, but I don't know. Maybe if I decide that I like doing this, I don't like the mess on my hands. I will say that. I might do some of these for giveaway and make them into journal covers because we've got the end of the year coming up, you guys. And um, I am going to do the New Year's Eve stream long streamathon and Mary um Altier is organizing that and I will be on at my normal midnight time slot so I thought before then because I like to do giveaways on New Year's Eve I probably will try and make a few journals to give away either before then or the evening of New Year's Eve so if you guys want to participate in the scavenger hunt um I'll have a few of the journal covers to give away. Yeah, Barbara. So I think um, now that I've got all this junk out and I'm determined to start using it, um, I think I will make some journal covers much like this and give them away for you guys. So, yeah, and I'll do it probably. I might do some before that, but I definitely will be doing it New Year's Eve. A 105-year-old one, a 100-yard dash and set a record. Well, how many, there's probably only one record for 105 years old, and it was probably three weeks. No, I'm kidding. But good on that 105-year-old. So, yeah. So let me go take a picture of this. My time's up. I really, really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thank you for the happy birthday, Linda. Hi, by the way. Tell Tim hi. Um... Really, you guys, go out and live your best life. Be kind. Um, I appreciate you hanging with me. And love you guys. See you later. Bye. And Sharon, thanks again. I'm in sloth love.